Well, Tom, there is new information tonight about the massive cyber attack against the city of Atlanta. The city council president today ordered a review of the city council database to determine how exactly the hackers got in. Now, the hackers continue to hold city data hostage and demand that city leaders pay a ransom to get it back. Fox Size Morse Diggs has been following the cyber attack from the beginning and joins us now with the very latest. Morse? Well, we reported last week that members of Mayor Bottoms' team informed city council members that there was, quote, a high likelihood that the incursion came through the city council side of the building through some software used by the Atlanta City Council called the Legislative Management System. Inside Atlanta City Hall, where did the hacker get in? Sources indicate a high probability that the incursion occurred on the city council's side of the building. The president of council and members have been told that. I believe you've been told from more than one person that the origin of the hack is from the council legislative management system. Is, is that correct? I have heard that. But Felicia Moore says there's been no definitive word that the databases that citizens see working when regular meetings are held is the actual source where the hackers got in. Moore is asking questions about it. When I first heard of it, I've been doing my due diligence to ask our staff to give me any information that may be even remotely related to that. But in terms of a determination, no one has given me any firm determination. Within your own offices, there are computers that are working fine, and you go to the next council office, the next district office, and all the computers are out. Is that correct? Well, there are some offices that are operating, there's some that are not, and that's across the city. And this additional piece of new information, uh, the company that's involved with the software, it's called Accela. We have obtained some communications between city officials and that company in which in early February, there was a report of an urgent security incident in which they detected Perhaps some company familiar with malware or using malware had gotten into or attempted to get into the city council computers. That's among the information. Felicia Moore has these emails. That's part of her review. Now, late today, I spoke with an executive with the company, his name, Jonathan Knight, and he told me he's unaware of those communications, but the company is cooperating fully with the city and any law enforcement that wants to talk with them. Reporting live from downtown Atlanta, I'm Morse Diggs, Fox 5 News. So many lessons to be learned from this massive breach. Morse, thanks.